What's so, numbers in that OG crew? He's like day two uh, or day three. All right, so we got Mario versus um, the Snake here, and he's already on him right now. Snake takes him off the stage, set, seems to set up with something. Now, interesting Mario versus um, Snake. When I always think about this, I always think about how are you going to deal with these um, grenades when while you're you know technically hitting them in the confirm that you got, like because they could come out of nowhere if you're not frame perfect and just kind of ruin you, like. Is down air not an option for you anymore as Mario because of that situation? I don't know. I mean, I feel like Mario also has a lot of very true combos. To the point where even though Grenade is a fast, like... Oh, come on. Oh, my really? Silly. Oh, my silly. Now, usually when, when, when Nikita's coming at you, if you was to hit it with something, you can kind of make it a dud and get away from it. And that, and that was awful. That, looked, that, that, that did not look cool to me. Yeah, Looney Tunes is a player where we didn't really see him at all in Smash 4. He was a brawl player, uh, but he's been come. He's come back, and he came back with the snake, and he has come back strong. He has wins against Denia, correct? Yeah. Who else did he have wins against? Uh, Ray, and I think someone else. Yo, this this snake is moving, man. Yeah, but Dom also like I was. We were talking about before how he's an amazing doubles player, also super solid in singles, but like sort of the difference in his. Um, like, you know, like right now he's sort of struggling against Looney Tunes. Uh, so it's it'll be really interesting to see whether he can um, watch out for that. Like, sort of bring that same glory home. You know, I actually feel like Flo would be a great um, great move in this matchup. I would love to see it interact with, um, the, with the grenade in a similar way that Inkling's Splatter Shot does against um, most of um, Snake's key uh, arsenal pieces. For example, like if you guys don't know, Splatter Shot pushes away the grenades. And if he's holding the grenade, it'll explode on contact even on the shield. So maybe we can see uh, a situation where we can use the Flood in a I similar believe, fashion. Doesn't Splatter Shot actually have like it does damage, right? It does do so it does do damage, but even and if you're Flood at max doesn't. distance where it barely does anything. But Flood does no damage. But at least it does push it away. I am curious. Maybe we'll get the chance to see it. I feel like Flood would not explode them. Uh, also, it's water, and like that doesn't make no sense. But it might not explode it, but if you push it back to where Snake, Snake has to move or shield. That can give you an advantage to go for that what you're looking for, because you want to get close to the end of the day. Oh, now jumps into the nair. Well, we got Snake. Wow, just good. He's just been very successful keeping... I forget. Do fire attacks break um, grenades on contact? Yes. So maybe see a little bit more fireballs? So fireballs would be a that? great idea. I haven't seen any now. Now you mention it. Back here is pulls him off the stage. 109 for uh, 109 for our boy here. Let's see what we got. See, even Cape. Like he yeah. has the tools to, 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 to kind of disrupt the way Snake wants to uh, control the stage. Yeah, you know what? So when he started throwing fireballs, all of a sudden Looney Tunes had to stop what he was doing. He's like, oh, I got a shield that this is coming. Abs my grenade's Absolutely. Gonna explode on me. That's not going to work. Got the up airs so we got. He's at 125 now, because he really has to worry about the up air, the up tilts. Ooh, there we go. That's not going to be it just quite yet. He Good has job to go for waiting. Tech chase. As soon as he gets to 160, though, grab will confirm him to a kill. All right, he's getting something on right now. He's got something going on. Oh, Nikita, can, what can he do? Very good, wow. very smart. Punish him. Very smart. Knocks yeah, him off. Throw, putting him off stage. Goes wow. for the high recovery. He has grenade in his hand just wants to get it out of there, though. Oh. And the C4 bait. Oof. He just put it there, and I, I, even I forgot that he had laid it there. <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous. But he looked like towards the end that he was figuring out a little bit more things of what he can do to mess with Snake. But he has the tools to kind of push stuff around, make at least Snake feel more uncomfortable setting up his neutral, setting up his traps. I really want to see more fireballs this time around. Oh, I would love it. Maybe even a flatter stage. It's that you don't have the platforms, which kind of were getting in the way. Then again, like I feel like if you're on the PS2 platforms and you're like doing jump fireball on them. Yeah, I see what you mean. Can be useful, especially if he gets any kind of lead, just start doing the fireballs. Yeah, because if you have no platforms, right? Let's say Snake puts a, uh, 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 I guess, down B on the stage. You can just jump over it, right? But if it's on the platform and he's on the ledge, then you can't jump and you can't walk under it because the explosion is big enough to where it will cover all that. So it kind of makes you have to like respect that whole entire space for while, while it's there. And you don't have to on a stage like uh, FD. All right, 
an interesting stage for the second game. And now we are, in fact, seeing uh, more Ooh. of the fireballs this time around. It seems actually that uh, Looney Tunes is ready for it. Uh -oh. But then again, oh my god, look at all this damage. Yeah, he's he's feeling himself right now. And I, I feel like once we get back to neutral, I mean, we're not there yet, but once we get back there, we will like be seeing more fireballs from... Uh, Dog. Yo! That was a that was a good opportunity for a conversion down smash. Nah, dog, ain't gonna work. But I love his aggression, love his pressure. When he had oh god. Thank god that didn't kill. I've been upset. 91%, really? Okay, so I gotta say, uh one thing about Mario is that you can see that there's a like a damage differential where he just feels like he doesn't do as much damage as he used to. Like he hit snakes so many times, and then he got hit well it felt like four times and he was almost even. Oh. Okay, he tried to get an out two option there. Good job. Missing, getting to the grab combo. Oh no! Getting away from that. Oh, now we're seeing some flood happening as well as well as the fireballs that you were asking for. Yeah, I feel like he's being a lot more dynamic in his play. He is still going in, he is still trying to be aggressive, but it's not his only uh sort of game plan. Yo. You see the spacing on Nikita? Oh, oh come on, you took too long. Now your stock is gone. That's what happened. Why would you stay there too long, man? Your percentage was super high. It is Yo, defense. He's like, on him. That down smash doesn't look like it should hit that low. Yo, why is it for this stage he's so much better at staying on Snake? Uh, platform setup. Definitely. Are a huge difference. Yeah, the platform setup, Battlefield stuff like that, those kind of similar platform situations. Uh, PS, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 doesn't really grant him that opportunity. Wow, 164 with the down there. And I was worried about the down there not being able to work because I felt like Snake could um, actually get the frame one well, uh, grenade out. Well, grenade at that point might have killed himself, right? It's, it's possible. Is that it's a very good question. I feel like that might have done it. I don't know. Maybe he was just worried about the risk involved in that. Uh, so, and that is actually something. Like, once you get Snake to high enough percent, it's option coverage because... If he does go for the grenade, he would die himself. And if he doesn't, you know, you can hit him with this nice cheeky batter. No, no, it ain't gonna work. He's getting juggled. Oh, almost got the fair there. Wow, he's doing a good job avoiding a lot of these a lot of these bombs. Okay, definitely got caught in there, but did he did, did he down beat him? Yeah, he did. God damn it. <laughs> yep. He put my hands on you, boy. All right, looks like we're stabilizing a little bit, but he's in trouble right now. We up Ooh, Yes, he does. Good. Wow, and the ladder combo to finish off that game. Yo, if, if I want, like, he's got to find a way to get to a stage like this again. He cannot go back to PS2. Because that was beautiful from everything he wanted was happening for him in a small proximity. There's nowhere uh, for Snake to run. I feel like, so, but now the counter pick on stage uh, might yeah. really help out Looney Tunes. I'm banning. I'm probably banning Kalos, and I'm definitely banning um, PS2. He cannot go back there again. Period. End of story. The thing is that then we have stages like FD or even Town and City. No, Town and City being banned, I really agree with, and as well as FD. Those are the two stages I was kind of so worried maybe about. He's going to, so maybe he's comfortable there. Kalos, I think, PS2. probably is the pick. No, it's going to be PS2. No DSR. I can definitely see that. Yeah, I mean, game he did so well in the first game, man. There's no reason to, to gift horse in the mouth in that scenario. Not only that, but you recognize a big part of the reason he won that last game was those those huge ladder combos, the damage. Everything seemed to go his way in advantage. Absolutely. A big part of it was that triplat setting. So this time around, taking that away once again, it's going to be a lot harder for Don to really be able to convert off of his single hits in the same way. Yeah. And as a result, Snake's damage output is going to, once again, just completely outstrip him. Yeah, he's definitely going to play the long game here, I think. But the projectiles in the second game played a big role in him winning as well. We need to see that again in this third and final game. All right, back it didn't work. The out of shield didn't work either. Really good option for Snake, but misses there. That move was like frame four or something. It's kind of just... <laughs> it's kind of not cool, yeah. All right, there we go. I see we're baiting dash attacks now, um, Don is. Starting to get used to the flow of all these attacks. Oh, he's dancing around the um the grenades even better too. No, I ain't falling for that. Oh, yeah, right. that Ooh, that he's time. Ooh. dancing on him. Look at him. Yo, let's go. 
Uh, didn't work out there. It's 80, 84%. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. Like, the damage differential is showing itself. Because I feel like they've hit each other an even amount of time. You saw that? It didn't blow up the grenade. It just kind of popped it. The fireball did. I just stopped his momentum. Uh-oh, side B. Nikita. Nice catch. Nah, dog. Oh, yeah. Grenades right there. Oh god! I don't even know what finished him off. Was it an up smash? Up smash. I think it was the up smash after the second hit of uh, of fair. How did he time it that well? Because I think there was a grenade there as well. Oh, nice try. I like the idea. I mean, at that point, yes, go for it. Uh oh, it I think it's a down B right on that platform on the right side. Oh yeah, I think I. I don't know. No, is it? No, no, I guess I was wrong. No, yeah, it was right underneath him at the end. All right, now we have one stock, oh, sorry, two stocks apiece. A bit of a de uh, percent advantage for Looney Tunes, and I'd say on the whole a momentum advantage, considering just the fact that he took that stock first. And we've been seeing what he's been able to do. So Don really has to get back to a comfortable place. I need to see a fireball. He's not doing it again. It's not, right now, it's starting to look like he's just jumping into fire. Nice Ooh. job with the, um, with the flood there. Oh, I really Punish? like that spacing, oh. but he managed to bait out the up tilt. But oh, no. Punisher. Nikita. Nah, dog, ain't going to work. Uh, didn't get the uh, punish there, but nice down there by Looney Tunes. Um, boy, the grab, it's what like can you do? Back here from Mario does like 9% or something, and down there from Snake does like 50 Much better than the, in the first game in terms be. of... Wow, oh, that was so was, close. I thought he was going to be, but there was actually a really smart air dodge from Looney Tunes considering that. Yo. And now we have Don actually in the lead. He was down by so much. Yeah, but like at one, game fighting at, from behind. Unfortunately, at 174, one grab is all he needs to seal the deal. Oh, damn. Damn. And this feels like the first truly even match we've had so far. Oh, he ran it. He did not see it. I saw like a half second before he did. Oh, I was. Uh, did you see much damage that down there? Oh, what just happened? That's like 20. Good God. It's Looney Tunes okay. taking control. Well, okay. Looney uh, Don has been, a, done a, been doing a great job of surviving, especially at these later percents. So it's not over, not by a long shot. But at 143, the big thing is once he reaches 160, grab will kill. And once grab starts killing, like, how do you play the neutral when you can't shield anymore? Well, I mean, and all of Snake's stuff is like... Just oh, we're starting to see some fireballs here. He was charging full. He's fully charged. Let's see what he's going to use that for. Watch out for that grenade. And not only that, because he's down by so much, he's nervous about following through on these attacks. Like, yeah. He got the downer, and if he was at lower percent, he might would have chased him down with an up air or something. But God now, it. oh, and that's going to connect. Oh. Don giving a nod of the head, but Looney Tunes is the victor. Going to be moving on in the winner's bracket. Man, that was good, match. You really saw the uh, adaptation from Mario there, but I think he just wasn't comfortable just sticking to the projectile plan that, we were talk that you were talking about before, and it kind of cost him because there were some situations where, oh, look, there's a grenade on the ground. I'm going to jump over it. No, I don't have to. I have fireball. I have flood. Let me push that away. At the same time, I also feel like that big thing is that he was keeping it even that entire game, yeah. and, then, and then all of a sudden, Stuff happened.